What is going on everyone? Welcome back to Fix It Garage and the Subaru Beetle. It's time to get that cooling system done. The goal for today is to get the cooling system all mocked up so we can take it apart, go get the aluminum pipes bead welded or bead rolled so we can have them installed in the car and it will allow us to take the engine out and start doing the prep for final assembly. So it is very crucial that we get the cooling system all mocked up today. I already have an idea of what we're gonna do. Before we get started, if you guys like what you see, don't forget to smash that like button, help the YouTube al algorithm and help this channel grow. But that's all I have for you guys. Let's go ahead and start mocking up this cooling system right away. So the first part of the cooling system we need to figure out is up here at the radiator. We've got both of our radiator fittings on this side of the radiator. We need them both to go down and under the car so they can run to the back in our big aluminum pipes. So first off, we need to start mocking up rubber hoses in here and get everything ready to fit up here so then we can start building it towards the back. We might have to do some more cutting and grinding up here to make it so everything fits, which I'm sure we will, but I'd like to get it mocked up. Then I can take the radiator out and grind everything before final assembly. Okay, so the first thing you guys are gonna see is we've got this all kind of started right here in the front. I'm choosing to run the upper hose down and next to the lower hose and have the lower hose come across the fan and then down to go underneath the car. We're gonna run them on opposite sides down the car and then have them cross over to get to where they need to go. But we still have to build that whole thing right now. As you guys saw, we got the stuff right here and then everything around the front suspension all done. So let's go ahead and crawl underneath and let's look at what we have going on. Okay, so here we are underneath the car on the right behind the front suspension. Here are both the pipes. There's no hose clamps on them, so they're kind of hanging down and they're not mounted anywhere. We're gonna worry about mounting when we final install it. Right now, I just need to get the lengths 
and where they go and then we'll figure out how to attach them later this is more important but here are both of the pipes where they will go underneath and go towards the back of the car now we're going to go look at the front so you guys can see how we got to here so here's our hoses here at the front you can see this was the one that comes across and down for our lower into a nice 90 degree elbow currently being supported by a jack and then over here we have another 90 elbow that goes out and it goes across and you'll see it goes just underneath these control arms. They'll be mounted up to these brackets right here. We'll make some brackets and mount them. That's the whole front of the cooling system done. Now let's go ahead and start the middle and back sections. So here are our two big five foot sections of aluminum pipe and they go over to here. Um, the tape is there because we actually ran out of our thicker pipe and I'm using some thinner stuff that wasn't for this project, but I have it laying around. So I went ahead and used it and just taped it to get it mocked up. We're gonna have to order another five foot section of our thick pipe, which I'll order as soon as I'm done making this video. And then I will transfer all of it over when the time comes. So here they are, they come across to the back of the car. And then under here, this one goes straight across. This one has to cut over before the transmission to go up so they can both go over that axle and where they need to go. This one has to run to the thermostat housing. This one has to run to the coolant crossover pipe. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna crawl and we're gonna look through the magic floor here and I'll show you guys kind of how they're routed. Nothing is final. Things are laying on top of like axles and stuff which obviously when this is done, they won't be, it'll all be properly supported. We just 
we don't have everything in the car yet, so on final install, I'll make sure it's all nice and pretty. Looking through the magic floor, here's where the coolant hoses are going to come up and over the axle. This again will be more like this and not touching the axle on final, but we just don't have a way to keep it where we want it right now. I will when I make brackets. You have this 90 elbow, which just stops right here. So this hose is too thick <laughs> or too, it's too large. to go on the coolant crossover pipe so we actually need a resizing coupler right here which i have ordered and this is about how long it is so i'll have it come to here and then we'll put a uh, barbed fitting in here to join these two together with some hose clamps and that will effectively finish the upper hose of the radiator uh, cooling system here this pipe will continue on to the back and we'll go crawl underneath and i'll show you guys how this one finishes here at the back of the car the coolant, the thermostat hose will run along here, over the axle, down around the valve cover, through a 90 elbow, and here, where again, we'll have a pipe joining these. Um, this doesn't, I have it zip tied just so it doesn't fall down, but it actually does line up with this pretty much straight on. Then you'll have your radiator hose to the thermostat going into here. Again, same thing, need to get a coupler to change the size of it, and then a barb fitting to join them together. That's the approximate distance. I can cut hoses if I need to. Nothing is like, hey, this is how it has to be. I can change the length of all these pipes if I need to, and none of it's finished either. There's still metal shavings in it that need to be removed, but it's mocked up along with our exhaust, which I threw on real quick. Uh, it has nothing here right now. We're gonna have to put like a muffler or something right here, but it's at least mocked up and in. This is a nice, good temporary install for mock-up before I have to take it all back out to have beads welded onto it and start getting all the hose clamps and barb fittings that I'm gonna need to finish it. But we do now have a great representation of how it's going to go together. Now, something you may be wondering is, well, how am I gonna remember where everything goes? That's where the magic of labeling is going to come in handy. Everything that goes from the thermostat to the lower radiator hose, I will label with an R for return. And starting at the thermostat end all the way to the radiator, I'll put a piece of tape on every piece of pipe and every rubber hose. Starting at that end with one and ending at that end with whatever I get to, that is how I will label the cooling system. So I'll know that all of those things, that's the order which they go all the way back to the radiator. And then for the upper radiator hose that goes into the crossover pipe, I will label everything U or F. I might do feed. Not sure if I'm gonna do feed, return. It'll be like a, a U, probably U and L is what we'll do. We'll do upper, lower. So it tells me where it goes in the radiator. And again, from that end to that end, start with one, go all the way to that end, plus pictures help. And then a lot of those pipes that were too thin, I cut them long so they fit a little better in there. And obviously when it comes time to build it, I'll have to shorten them which is fine, I've planned on that. It's better to cut them longer and then have to shorten them on final assembly than have them too short and have to cut fresh pipe and run out of it again. The objective is I don't wanna run out of coolant pipe. The nice thing is now is it's mocked up and we know how it's gonna fit, which means the last big thing is now finished on the car for now until we final assembly, which means we can now take the engine back out and start final assembling the engine, put the rear main, the clutch and all that on and get that thing ready to go back in for the final time, guys. We are super close to having this thing ready to go back together and start. So now the objective is going to be to pull the engine, get the engine ready, get the cooling pipes all done, build my ground wires and a, and a negative battery disconnect that can be accessed from under the trunk of the car, get all of that stuff hooked up and wired up, get the fuel system mounted a little bit better at the back of the car, and then that should allow me then to put the engine back in, install everything, figure out the intake and all that once it's in the car, and fire this thing up. This has been quite an adventure, but I'm finally starting to see the finish line. That is going to do it for today, everyone. I wanna thank all of you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Maybe if there's something I should have done differently, please let me know as I have not final assembly, so I can always change it. But let me know in the comment section down below. 
And if you guys want to see this project to its finish, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you guys don't miss any future Fix It Garage videos. Next video is going to be a little bit of a break from this again with an interruption to do a special little fun side project for a friend of mine who's helped me get a lot of the welding done. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You guys are going to have to wait and see for the next video. But with that being said, I want to thank all of you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,